what's up guys um, my name is James the first and welcome to my first ever let's play of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus so let's just get into it uh, new game and yeah new game Sly come in Sly do you read me yeah I read you loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Alright, let's get started here. Um, I guess I should tell you how much I played this game, or Hey, Bentley, not, I think no. I'm seeing things. Must be Vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about Oh, I can too. <laughs> Thieves are able to sense Must be on some, opportunities, some that which weird shit. <laughs> themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. I don't know how that works in a video game, but all right. But yeah, you just hold down circle and yeah, let's just get to it. And of course, I missed the jump. <laughs> All right, so um, I only 100% this game once, and I'm actually going through it again as a practice file. So this is like my third time going through the game, but I played through every Sly Cooper game, so I know. Be extra. Oh, Quick slide, well, smash the siren. Well, that's not what you're supposed to do, but all right. <laughs> um, what you're supposed to do is just go miss the targets. I messed nice up, but all right. You're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind <laughs> Great. the red door. Great way to start off the series. And of course it's locked. That door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe yeah. there's a way around it and for some reason I don't know what kind of officer would do this but they just leave their window up into the safe way to go sly this is where inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo try dialing in Dang, nine Bentley. three seven nine three seven all right yeah um I started with the fourth game. There's four games in the series, and I started out with that one, and then I got the trilogy later. So, yeah, I'm playing this on the PS3. So, nice job. you got it. If you so, go yeah. down through the fire escape and head through the park, it's one of my we'll like not bay. best favorite games, but I love the series, and I wish they made a fifth one. And yeah, I gotta leave the calling card for the ladies. Or not. Criminal. And you foolish raccoon! I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita, I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my. Hey, you know that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. So yeah, I guess that's why <laughs> that officer, Inspector Carmelita Fox, left the window open. Just so she could capture Sly. So yeah, we just gotta escape from her. Dodged a very, very threatening pistols. Don't get hit, and then get into the van. You can't escape me. And we escaped. 
Well, I just did. <laughs> Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. So yeah, that's basically Sly's backstory, how he became a thief and all. Like, he came from a long line of thieves. Uh, you just you just heard all that, so we're just going to continue. And yeah, whenever you see the little raccoon symbol somewhere on the screen, I forgot. <laughs> uh, that's how you know it auto-saves. You know, this is the future, or, or, I don't know, this game was ported a couple years ago. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. So yeah, you can see movies and other stuff here. Um, we're not going to do that. We're just going to go to the first. We're going to find the first page of the Devious Raccoonus. So let's start. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. First world and those little um intros of the villains you saw there that, those, that's one of the many things I love about the series just like finding out villains backstories and stuff like that obviously we haven't met Raleigh yet but we heard of him hey Sly I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission see that nasty looking gate it blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout no problem I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. But yeah, um, here's our first introduction to an actual level, and you see these bottles here? 
You want to collect all of them. And, yeah, it just died. Good on me. <laughs> but yeah, you want to collect all those bottles because um, there'll be something at the end to get. And for these guys, you just want to just hit them. Yeah, they are one hit. Go over here, you get your fourth ones. And yeah, as you saw, there's a live meter. This was like at the time, like Super Mario 64. Well, a little bit later than that, but um, games like that where you had lives. The other ones uh, got better throughout the game. This is probably I wouldn't say it's my least favorite, but it's the game that started out the series, and every other game is like totally different. They revamped the formula, and yeah, you could just skip entirely all that but we gotta get this bottle over here so we can get the clue and yeah we just go the required path hold on sly see those searchlights one careless step and you'll be subjected to acute combustion you done whining Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Yeah, so, if you like, if you do that, then <laughs> the alarm will ring. You just have to, you just have to beat the thing to smithereens, and you should be fine. So let's grab these bottles, and dang, we're almost halfway through getting the bottles. So yeah, Bentley was saying we get these checkpoints, and we just continue on. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Yep. We gotta do what we gotta do. Also, yeah, you just like that, you die in one hit. Good thing they made checkpoints. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm not doing so hot. Um, I guess this is what they call the... I hear this a lot in other Let's Players videos, but like it's hard to like play and commentate at the same time, as you can see. So yeah. <laughs> now I get it. Now I understand. <laughs> So let's, uh, let's try this guy, and yeah, you only get one hit, which is... So, there we go. Awesome. Now you want to be careful with these parts. If you can get into the rocks, then you should be fine. Let's try not, try not die here. And we're almost done with this level. Nice so far, Sly! To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. So yeah, just like, mainly that. Uh, I didn't say this, but square is to attack, obviously. This is a PS3 game, so why not? So yeah, I can't believe we're almost done with this level. It goes by quick. Oh, I thought I was gonna die there. Make sure I didn't leave any behind. I think we're good. But I just don't want to leave any behind because I left those two behind on the ship. Now it's already at the end of the level. So I had to go back and get them. Luckily if um if you get a game over, all the bottles will still be there. So yeah, that's one saving grace they have. Yeah, we're almost done. There's the vault there. That you need all the bottles for. Missing four. Alright, I know where they're at. To those clues and bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues get over in this there. area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. Yeah, we know, Bentley, we know. And there's the last two, so 
we're pretty much done with this level. It went by pretty quick. You found it, Sly! That's the final clue to crack the code! Now find out- Just go up here and press circle, like it's for everything. We just did that, Bentley. To believe that the code for this vault is 792. 792, gotcha, Bentley. This is why you need all the bottles for, just as Bentley was saying. Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. Yeah, I wonder how the, the many ones were getting. Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the trigger. Does that mean Sly and Drake, Nathan Drake, are similar? <laughs> Well, I mean, they were made by the same company, I think. No, I suck punch you, Naughty Dog. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but anyway, we just grab this key and we get on going. There we go. Just put it in there. And we're pretty much done with the level. So let's get on through. And you can see this giant overview map of the world. Well, one of the worlds we're in. And well, let's just keep on going. Just keep her that going. Looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Alright, so we got our mission. We got through our first overworld. We found out more about Sly and how he became a thief. So, I think next time we're going to collect those keys. So, thank you for watching this. If you are, well, <laughs> well, just thank you. This is my first project in like years. So, I hope you all enjoy it.